I grew up right here in South Central Los Angeles. Uh, had what most people would probably describe as a very tough childhood. Uh, grew up in a, with a single parent home. Uh, my mother had uh, five total kids. My brother was killed in gang violence when I was 10 years old. He moved around quite a bit uh, from one apartment to the next. Went to six different uh, elementary schools. Uh, so it was tough making friends when you're constantly moving around. It taught me sort of what not to do in life. Uh, sometimes the best lessons you can learn is through adversity. I met Martin in the private sector. I knew him as a young man where he had to pull himself up by his own uh, bootstraps in order to succeed and to show others that he could succeed in a very uh, competitive role. He was with a prior screening company and he made a decision that he wanted to change careers. And he and his wife uh, said that he should go on this path. So he left his family for the period of time to open up multiple cities. With the ultimate goal is getting back to Los Angeles. I applied for a job at TSA uh, to come on as a uniformed officer and uh, was fortunate enough to go through the interview process. And back then, if, depending on your interview score, you might be offered a lead position or a supervisor position and I was offered a supervisory position on the mobile screening force. I'm just very thankful that he applied, he took it, I let him go, and he just keeps going. He's so motivated that it just, it motivates all of us. But I think at the end of the day, it, it helped me become the man that I am today. Mentors have been probably the most important factor from a career standpoint. He would always greet you with a compliment of how you're doing your job and you naturally wanted to follow. I think within him, he's the type of person that this is just who he is. He naturally mentors and you want to listen to everything he says. He's always willing to listen and if you have any ideas as a support data, you bring it up to him and he'll support you for you to move forward with your ideas. My philosophy is I hired you to do something, not to be a switchboard operator and call me every time you need something. Uh, do what you need to do and brief me later. I trust you and have confidence that you're going to do the right thing. I think if you empower people that way, they'll take it seriously enough and they won't let you down. I think of Martin of somebody that I use majority of the time when I meet with officers as, like this is somebody that started as a TSO just like you. Get involved. You know, when we have a recruitment opportunity for members, to, for membership on the Employee Advisory Council, I want to see 1,500 applications. You know, that's a workforce that cares. When we have opportunities for our Joint Awards Committee or a Safety Action Team or whatever it is that you care to get involved in, just do something. Get involved in something and be a part of making this organization better.